Tyler Hurst. If you don't tweet, uh, well, then he's going to tell you why it is that you should. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, if that's the sound that the pet canary makes in your house and you have no idea uh, what I'm talking about when I say Twitter or even Facebook, He's got all of the information. Tyler, why? Why do you have all of the information? And what is Amanda Vega Consulting? Amanda Vega Consulting uh, is the company I work for. Amanda Vega is uh, the 22nd employee of AOL. And she has built a business on helping companies and people use the internet better. We teach agencies, we teach big companies, we teach small companies how to connect with their customers using internet and social media. Oh, okay, so um, here and at the radio station, mm -hmm. uh, I have for some time now uh, been told that I must learn to do whatever it is that happens to be next to the social media yes. spectrum, and I do to a degree. Then when I don't know what I'm talking about, I yell for the tech people mm -hmm. to come help me. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to Twitter as a service, I have to tell you, no offense, Tyler, but I don't care what you had for breakfast mm -hmm. this morning. And that's what most people seem to associate Twitter with. 140 characters yep. and, the, and the commercial. I'm in my lawn chair on the patio. Mm -hmm. the, that's actually the, the Birdhouse app, which is a fantastic application. Um, Twitter is much more than that. When it started out, it was what were you doing, and that's how people used it. It's evolved to what are you thinking, what do you want to share, what do you want to learn from people. The fantastic thing about Twitter, unlike Facebook and unlike other things, is you can follow and not follow people. So for instance, if I don't want to hear what you have to say, I don't have to follow you. And if you don't want to hear what I have to say, I don't, you don't have to follow me. But you can, you can turn that on and off very easily. Um, a lot of people um, follow 500-ish people, but they only get followed by 250 people. Um, it's an, it enables you to cut down a lot of the noise and, a lot, and, and allows you to hear the things that you actually want to hear. Okay, but why do I want to hear from 250 people? Because you can connect with people that have interests that are similar to yours, that are geographically distant, that you never would have heard from before. How will it profit me? I want to find out about bottom line <coughs> operating in the black with Twitter. I talk with people on New York Times every day. I talk with people in the PR world in New York every day. I talk with people in Chicago every day. And I talk with people in LA every day. We hear things that happen bef that happen before the newspapers do. If you hear about a, a scandal, an earthquake, um, uh, uh, Letterman, um, anything like that, we're going to hear that before because we are getting the information st st straight from the source. If right now I tweeted, I'm on the Pat McMahon show, people on Twitter would know that way before anyone else would. And an enormous number of them would go, oh, I don't care. Some of them would. Okay, but mm -hmm. you understand. Now, mm -hmm. please understand, I'm not anti-social media, no. I'm not anti-Twitter, but I'm asking the questions that an awful lot of people ask. You want to get in touch about Letterman? You want to get in touch with the New York Times or the Chicago Tribune? Here's something. Hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hi, this is Tyler. I'm talking to the uh, Chicago Tribune. What's wrong with that? I've tried that. You know who I get? Secretary. No one else. I'm not Pat. I'm unfortunately not Pat McMahon, so they don't. They won't take my calls when I when when. when I like when it I, when a guest sex. Yes. By the way, when you, I give them a, we've just extended your segment. There we go. What's the difference between Twitter and Facebook, though? Why do I need another form of communication? Twitter is a uh, is just is just a communication tool. Think of it as a conference call, where you can pick and choose all the people that you listen to. Facebook is an entire social network. Right? You are much more. You, you can be much more private on that. You can share. You can share videos. You can share pictures. You can share stories stories with just friends and family. Um, you, you can share things about uh, parties that can get you, you into can actually, with guys with guns. You can actually. You can, do that very, you can do that very, very easily. You can share that with all your friends very, very easily. Uh, think of, uh, I think of Facebook as more of a family reunion type thing uh, than I think of Twitter as more of a, of a phone conversation. Are you concerned, by the way, about the negative publicity? I mean, I mean I'm talking about sexual predators and, and, and the thing that the policeman was uh, talking about. No, actually, because I think social media allows everything to be more, much more open. Really? Because I think they're going to get caught. They get caught very, very easily. The, the whole point of social media is the openness of all of it. You can't hide anything. So if you're advertising a party where you're abusing girls or you're, or you're binge drinking, everyone's going to find out, which is good. No, you know, you're trying to hide something. Huh? Am I? Yeah. Your phone was under the shirt. Where yes. do you have it now? I have it huh? right here. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to reach down there. What, okay. are you, what are you doing with the phone? You actually are on Twitter now. Uh, oh, really? How mm -hmm. do I look? You look good. You look re you look real good. I've never spoken in 140 characters in my life. You are going to right now. Okay. If actually, okay. I, uh, I I did a I made an account for you last night called yeah. the Pat McMahon Show. Oh, really? And mm -hmm. I don't have to pay for how long? You don't have to pay at all. 
Oh, it's yours. You know what? I'm We're extending you. your segment As my gift, even I'm longer it to you. now. So actually, with the phone, do I get the phone too? No, you don't get the do phone. Do I get the it. shirt? You do get the shirt. Okay, I'll show you that shirt in a second. Okay, the shirt, no phone, no but phone. I uh, but I can but tweet. But you do have a Twitter account. Okay, what would I put down right now that would be of interest to any other soul? I put down. I wrote something for you. Hello, fans. Just finished interviewing T.D. Hurst. Quite a hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, however, it hasn't profited me. How can I get more people to watch a segment coming up with um, a, a comic that's at the Improv this week? Because you can say Harlan Williams is on my show. To come check him out, and people will retweet you. And what you dropped his name, so you might be able to get a ticket to go see the Maybe show I at can. the Improv. Maybe I can. Uh, okay, look, yesterday, I'm at the computer at KTAR, and a really annoying thing happened. Mm -hmm. LinkedIn. Yes. LinkedIn got in touch with me, as somebody that I didn't know. Yes. It said, I want you to be my LinkedIn partner or whatever it is. Connect with said. me on LinkedIn. Yeah. All right. So I said, okay, listen, I've got Tyler on tomorrow. Let me see. And I went to the next page. Mm -hmm. And it said, give me your password and all of the vital information that you have ever acquired. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. I wouldn't want to do that if it was somebody I knew. Mm -hmm. So what is the value to me in giving that information? On LinkedIn, uh, I use LinkedIn much more uh, selectively than I use any other social network. But it's some kind of a job thing, LinkedIn isn't it? is, for me, is a professional networking site. It's yeah. basically a digital version of your resume. And so I don't connect with anyone who I don't know personally or I haven't done business with. So it's something that you, you basically, it's something that you, would you recommend that person? Yes or no? If but, not, then don't connect with them. If you would, then connect with and them. And if I get dumped here, then I can use LinkedIn. Yes. Uh, okay. See, you're, you're really defining the difference in, in these things. Blogging. Yes. Blogs, I get. I, I mean, I just keep going through. And I'd say a third of them are from people who should be institutionalized. A third? Uh, that, that astounding fear. numbers of that. idiotic claims about yes. uh, the administration, about the governor, about conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. It's like the tabloids as you're going through mm -hmm. the, the, the supermarket checkout mm -hmm. line. Yes, uh, the same way that everyone who used to publish one-page newsletters in small little towns, mm -hmm. no one read them. Uh, those are just on the internet now. It takes it takes some time to figure out which ones are good. Um, you can ask your friends. You can actually go up on Twitter and say, "Hey, any, no, does anyone have any good blogs? Go up on Facebook." Ask can that I too. ask Amanda? You can ask Amanda. She'll tell you as well. Okay. You want to find out more about how you can use any of these services, huh? Here's one. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> If you go to twitter.com slash Pat McMahon Show, you can follow Pat, the Pat McMahon Show on Twitter. Actually, you can contact Ed McMahon in another life. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Amanda Vega uh, is available to answer questions yes. on social media, yes. right? Yes. Okay. And Harlan, by the way, already got a plug, and he's going to come in and tell us what he thinks of you. Okay. This is Pat McMahon. Stick around. Okay, as if we didn't tweet enough information, if we haven't been Facebooked enough, uh, Tyler just said, the one thing he forgot to tell you is, is that he has a speaking engagement a week from Saturday, and it's for the bpwaz.org website. That's where all of the information is because he's speaking to a, a group of professional women, right, uh, Tyler? Right? Women's organization? Yes. Yeah, and he's going to be doing that a week from Saturday, this coming Saturday, and uh, it's the bpwaz.org website where you get all of the information. Is that of any interest to you at all, Harlan? Sure is. I'm going to be there. You said there's going to be women. Uh, <laughs> that would do it, right? Yeah, that's all I And the tweaking and the twittering, it sounds almost uh, like something you wouldn't talk about on a family program. Yeah. 